All right, guys. So I want to show you this internet banking, right? So this is an online banking, well designed, right? An online banking is an online banking, well designed. So you can see the bank is very, very well designed. Awesome design, right? So um, let me just show you how this uh, bank works. So you can see it has also it has a live chat. It has a live chat. Hello. So when you send a live chat, you have messages. Is from the admin, the admin replies the live chat and it comes down here, right? So you see, this part of the live chat, right? So now let me register as a customer in the bank. Let me register as a customer. So to register as a customer, this is the link to register as a customer on the bank, right here. So I'll enter my first name, let me see. Dion. Benny, right? So I'm going to enter my email. Right? So you can see the registration form very authentic. So I'm going to enter my password. Enter my PIN, four digits. Now click on next. So I'm going to enter my phone number. So if you enter a valid number, this bank also has SMS authentication if you activate it, right? It has SMS authentication if you activate it. So when you are entering your phone number, you must enter the phone number and you must be correct if you want to activate and use the SMS notification inside. The SMS location work with Twilio. So let's open. So gender female, I can type check it. So I'll click on next. So I want to go back to the previous step because I want to upload past picture. So I'll click on this button here to upload picture here. Yeah. So I'm going to upload the picture. Yes, I'm going to upload the picture. I can't see that. So let me go to next again. Next. Then um, next here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put my address. Right. So now I'm going to click on register. So you need to register. Awesome. But you so registration. Please check your mail. Or this account. And you can log into your account. If you are right. So I can click on login now. But if I try to log in now to this account, I cannot log in because admin has to approve the login. Right, so I may have to approve the login. So let me um, go to the admin section of this um, program. So this is the admin section of the session. So when you um, create an account on the site, if you just go to user details, you're going to see the account that was created. Can you see that? This is the account that was created, right? So this is the account that was created. These are some of the accounts on the website, right? So you can delete account from the website. You can delete. So you see you have created that account. So when you create an account like this, the first thing you need to do is what the account will be inactive. You have to first of all activate the account. So activate the account. So let the account be active. Can you see that? So the account is now active, right? So then you click on what account details from here. You click on account details. So the account will show like this, right? With the account number, right? And you see transfer disabled. You also want activate transfer. You click on it. You see transfer activated, right? Can you see that? So then you click on the account number. So this is the account number, right? So this is the account number. Now, when you also check the email that you use in registering the account, yes, so you can see when you check the email. So if you also activate the SMS, so you also you will get an SMS immediately you register, right? With your account number. So you can see that the account number is automated. Can you see that? It's created. This is probably that your account number is registered successfully. Can you see that too? This is your account number, right? So admin is going to activate the account. So I've activated the account as an admin. So now 
I will not credit the account so I can credit the account and I can debit the account. So but let me just credit the account. Let's say I want to credit the account with what thirty thousand dollars. So date of credit. So you have to enter the correct date as if you know what. Right? You have to enter the correct date in this format month, day and year. I don't know what account on the visa. Right? So then you click on what proceed to transaction. So when you do that, if you uh, do everything correctly, you see that the account will now be what funded. Can you see that the account is now funded? Right? So once the account is funded, you are not ready to log into the account, right? So you're not ready to log into the account. So let me just log into this account. So this is the account number. So you can see that. This is the account number. Enter the account number, then enter the password. And I click on next. So if my account information is correct, you're asking for my PIN. So enter my PIN. So if everything is correct, I see that I'm logging to the user side of the account. You can see this is so so beautiful and so so good. So you can see I can log out of my account. I can go to my account and see my account summary. So you can see this is my account summary. This is my um ATM card details. You see that generated for me automatically. This is my transaction. I see that. Then if I come here again, I go to account details. I'm going to see all my account details right here. Can you see that? If I go back to here, I can see my account statement. Can you see that? And I can print my account statement. I can download in PDF, right? So that's my account statement. I can download in PDF. Can you see that downloading? So then I can go to phone transfer. So I can do internal transfer, transfer to other bank, internal transfer. And I can even come to my profile here, yeah, my profile. You see my profile here. I can log out of the account. You see my picture here that I put on the account, right? So I also have service. I can change password. Change password works. I enter new password and confirm it. Change password works very well, right? I can even do what I can even change pin, right? So you can, because I can change my my pin right here, right? So what I know what I want to do now. So here I can view it here. Can you see that I can? View um, um, ATM, then I can also request for new ATM. So you can see I can request for new ATM. So I'll select Visa, card type, I'll say credit card, duration, let's say two years, and I click on submit. So you're gonna see what's gonna happen now. So you see that it's processing the um, um, credit card for me, right? So you can see that this is a very, very robust. Uh, banking system so it's going to count the hundred right it's going to count in hundred so just watch the counting going to count in hundred and see that so you can see that the application receive your request as we receive right now can you see that so that's how to and you can even um, apply for a loan you can click apply for a loan to so apply for instant loan so loan amount let me say i want uh, one thousand dollars i want it by cash duration i want to pay for one year I click on apply. Also, can you see that? So, you look, um, initiate the loan request for me. Can you see that? So, it's going to initiate the loan request. So, you can see it's counting and it's going to count up to um, 100, right? You know, to get that um, this process completed. So, you can see that. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to be, you know, receive. Can you see that? So it's a very, very, very robust application, right? So now I can also come here. So if I put my mouse here, I can enter every um, uh, information that I entered, you know, that I performed, you know, it's taking uh, account of the information, right? Taking account of the information. I can see I can view cards. Can you see that? I can pro express my card, pro card. You see, it's a very, very robust, robust system. So I can go to internal phone transfer. Can you see that? Internal phone transfer receiver account number. So receiver account name. Can you see that amount to send? Let me say I want to send two thousand dollars. You see that? So you enter description. I click on transfer funds. Can you see that? So immediately you do a transfer form, right? So an OTP will be sent to the email address that you use in 
register this account. So let's see if the OTP comes. So if you also activate SMS, you're also going to see that um, uh, the OTP will be sent to SMS, right? So this is the account um, before the $30,000 that was funded into the account. So let's come back here and see here. Uh, so you can see that transaction authorization code. Can you see that? So transaction authorization code. So this is the transaction authorization code. So I'll just copy it. So it will be sent to um, the email, right? So I'll just put the transaction authorization code. I can see the count time for two minutes. So I click on validate transfer. Can you see that? So if the um, information entered is correctly received on my email and I enter it correctly, the transfer is going to be initiated, right? So you're going to see that the transfer is going to be what? Is initiated. The transfer is going to be initiated. So can you see the transfer being initiated? Can you see that? 100%. Awesome. Can you see that? So if you also check your email, you will see that a mail, can you see that? A debit allowed. Can you see that? $2,000 debited from your account and you are going to see that the calculation was done. But can you see that I say input task code, right? So the transaction will go through, but you know it will not be automatically um, credited or debited, you know, into your account until you input task code. You know how this stuff works, right? So that's how it works. So and um, if I go back to my account, if I go back to my account area, let me see account summary, you will see that that two thousand dollar, you know, you see that. I view my statement that two thousand dollar can that two thousand dollar has been um, deducted from my account. The same thing if I go to transfer to other bank, the same thing so the bank, then I'm gonna enter the account number, then I'm gonna enter the receiver's name, then I do international transfer, then I can continue. So it's gonna take me to the next steps after to enter routing number so I can enter any routing number, right? So I click on continue. Can you see that? So I'm about to transfer. I mean, say six thousand dollars. Transfer from Can you see that? It's also going to initiate the transfer. You can see that the OTP code will also be sent to me, right? So can you see that? Show OTP code will also be sent to me. This is the OTP code. So you can see the way the emails are dropping every single minute, right? So let me enter the OTP. I click on validate. Can you see that? So it's going to validate the transfer. Yes, can you see that? Almost finished. Also requesting for um, um task code can you see that so when i also come here i can you see the debit can you see that so you can see the debit six thousand dollars has been debited you can look, look at the amount and if you go right into the account you will see that let's go right into the account so let's go to account summary so can you see that it's so twenty two thousand dollars can you see that so this was debited and this was debited can you see that? so it's a very very robust system right so even from admin end, if I come back home to admin end again, so can you see that I can view account of this bank. So you can see the balance in the account. You can click on the account number. Can you see that? So this is the balance. You can even edit phone number for the client. Uh, so let's say I want to put new phone number. Click on modify phone number. Can you see that? So when I come back to home, the phone number would have been if I view bank account again. And I click on this, you see that the phone number has changed. Can you see that the phone number has changed from the admin? So, also you can edit this email and put a new email, right? So, also the email will be changed. So, it's a very, very robust system, very, very robust system, right? Your credit cards, so you can view your credit cards. Can you see that? Your credit cards, you can request a new credit card, like I explained before. You can apply for a loan and you can do self service by changing passwords. And all of that so this is a very 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 robust system so i want to do a disclaimer on this please this project was done as a project for a student right it was done as a project for a student for the purpose of a project so any other purpose of the usage of this project is on your own risk so this is a disclaimer i do not have any purpose for doing this 
only for the purpose of a project for a student who required this to finish or to graduate you know from school right so you can see it's a very very robust system so the system is available you know on request so anyone who needs it uh, if you need it all you need to do is just um, contact me you know you're going to see a link um, below this uh, video or you're going to see my number below the video you need to just contact me if you actually need this particular script so uh like i told you before if you want to activate sms you can activate sms so you can see it uses trio can you, can you see that so this is the trio um ssid and it's trio token can you see that trio.com and the trio number right so if you go to trio.com you can So this is the Trilo website, so you can <clears throat> register on Trilo, and I'm going to give I'm going to give you this um, um, configuration that I just showed you here. Right, I'm going to give you this configuration. So if you have to configure configure that um, configuration the same way, can you see that you see configuration here and the configuration here, and you'll be able to use SMS on it. So all your transactions that you do, you know, they will also be done through. SMS, right? So if you need a script, all you have to do is what? Write me, contact me, and I will tell you how to get access and how you can use this script to your own advantage. So as you can see, a lot of work has been done on this particular script. And you see that a lot of work has been done, a real lot of work. A lot of work has been done, right? So a lot of work has been done. So if you need me, just um, need the script or you need to just contact me and I'll give you access to the script. Thank you.